So it involves a lot of this. <laughs> on, the, on the floor. Because you've got they've got that cap on it as well. And if you leave that cap dangling, it's gonna get knocked off. Yeah, so if you're buying one of these, definitely need them to fit an extension pipe. <laughs> tons of uh, mot motorhomes and caravans at this rally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's great though. All the people are out there enjoying themselves. mention that Epidemic Sound have now got an app on the phone so we've got our favorite tracks on here and I've hooked it up to the stereo in the, in the van I can listen to all our favorite tracks from Epidemic Sound it's really good well, seriously if you making videos I'm not just saying this it's worth having a look at epidemic sound the links are in the description below this is the one John and Mandy use isn't it yeah yeah, yeah so we're emptying the, the wastewater and this still haven't got a pipe on the back from this so you've got to position the motorhome somehow over the drain hole especially when it's these great things here and just hope for the best but that is the chassis extension there for the tow bar so it involves a lot of this <laughs> on, the, on the floor because you've got they've got that cap on it as well and if you leave that cap dangling it's going to get knocked off yeah so if you're buying one of these definitely need them to fit an extension pipe yeah so we emptied the water and we're going to go to Red Lion uh, caravan and we'll have a look around the accessories There's a couple of things we might need and uh, see what we can find just one thank you just wanted to mention that uh, we thought we would comment on something in the motorhome whilst we're on this tour so just pick one thing and comment on that otherwise we won't be mentioning anything about the motorhome we'll be talking about arriving at sites and yeah, that yeah. sort of thing yeah. so it's our first night we've had in the motorhome so I thought we'd comment on the bed because that's yeah. probably the most important thing yeah um, the only, I mean it's very comfortable um, I've had quite a good night's sleep yeah um, the only sort of issue with it, I suppose, is getting round it to get to the um, washroom in the middle. Yeah, or to, to get to the dogs. And get to the dogs. I mean, Poppy was, what, three times last night you got yeah. up. Yeah. Um, and obviously they'd find, they'd find it difficult if they want to come up on the bed as well. Yeah. Um, which isn't a bad thing, so that means they stay in their own beds. Yeah. Um, so that really was the main thing with it. I think, you know, you know it's a different layout for, for us. We're yeah. not used to a centre bathroom and an island bed. So it will take us 
a few nights to sort of sort it out. Well, it's like a new van to us, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is like a new van. It's a yeah. totally different layout to what we've had. Yeah. So, what did you think of the bed? Um, I, I like to say it was comfortable. Uh, the duvelets definitely help. Uh, I'm trying to think which way to go here, isn't it? Towards Ormskirk, isn't it, which is left? Left here, sorry, yeah. Yeah, the duvelets definitely help because well, my feet do hang over the edge of the bed. Because what happens with the bed, although it might be six foot too long, you end up slipping down the bed, don't you? Yeah. So yeah. Your, your head ends up... You, let me throw it, yeah. You end up with your head six inches from the headboard and your, your feet nine inches off the end of the bed. So yeah. um, that said, I mean... the. The, the duvelets are, are great for that sort of thing because they keep your feet warm. Yeah, and you've got your own duvet, haven't you, rather yeah. than trying to share one with somebody. Yeah. Because I normally end up with it either all on top of me or nothing yeah. at all. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd maybe fitted sheets are better on a on an island bed like that, but uh, I always find them really constricting. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, yeah, so I, I, I like the duvelet there. And yeah, it, it is awkward to get past that little area. I think my side, where I was sleeping on the off side of the van, was actually uh, a bit wider to get through. Mm. So I was ha all I was having to do was lift up the duvelet to get past. But you were actually having to lift the mattress up. Yeah, which is awkward when you get out. It's not so bad when I got back in, but you're sort of like the wrong angle somehow. Where yeah. I was anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it was quite a good night. Um, what was good was the TV, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, because we've got there is a TV point in the bedroom, but there's nowhere to put the TV, so we we relied on the one we've got in the lounge, yeah. which you can turn round. Yeah. And actually, because the bed's higher up, the viewing angle was well almost perfect, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, it was. You don't good. really need another be uh, TV in you the bed. You don't really, no. no. No, not unless you want to watch something different. But no. no. So, all in all, not a bad night. No. So we're off to get some accessories, aren't we? Yeah. And some things from home, and then tomorrow we go to Cumbria, don't we? Yeah. Right, I thought I'd just show you my shopping haul. And we bought one of these, and this is called a Kadak Trio Power Pack. What do you can you? And what it is is a cartridge system that you put the cartridges in, and you can put three in there, and it's a portable gas power pack. It's got a regulator built into it, a control on the top, and it comes with a lead. That you uh, connect on here. That, yeah, that push that push fits onto there, and that goes onto your barbecue. So oh. bought this because uh, we're getting a bit fed up. We're taking the gas cylinder out of the gas locker and then doing the barbecue with that. It was actually putting us off using the barbecue. The alternative, of course, and people are obviously going to say this, is get a get uh, outside barbecue. The problem with outside barbecue is that it's in a fixed place, so it's only you can only barbecue as long as your lead will reach. With this, you can barbecue anywhere. <coughs> so you could take it on a picnic with Tara. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you that it comes, it opens up. We we bought this online, and we didn't realise it came without cartridges. And these cartridges, I think I'll get one out. I've got four of them, we only need three. Does that come off? I don't know how that comes off, innit? That's it, pulls off. Yeah, so we'll give that a go. Yeah, so we're going to try that out, we'll try that out outside. That's the other thing. The other thing we just bought is we've got some, ourselves some new tumblers, because our old tumblers are a bit manky. So we've got some acrylic drinkware things. We we're going to bring the Silwe uh, magnetic glasses, but of course we haven't got a magnetic strip to no. fix them to. So the other thing we've bought 
is a whale water master. The Bailey provided what I thought was a <laughs> pump and <laughs> it wasn't a pump it was a filter and I still don't know how that works but what I bought is a proper pump so we can use the aqua roll whilst we're on site for a bit longer so that's quite handy so, so I finally got the right pump uh, this is the aqua aqua source sorry rather <laughs> I forgot what it's called a whale pump so how that fits in is that goes in there it's got a little lip thing there and you push that down that so, um, secures it and you push that over the thing so I go down to fill tank press and there it goes that's filling well, yep Eight pounds worth that was. Yeah, but uh, it's it really helped, wasn't it? Yeah, it certainly helped when we're on on a pitch for longer than a couple of days. Just wanted to test it here whilst we were here. And we're a bit. Did you say we have to use it on a service pitch? Yeah, she'll be able to use it as a service pitch. I've got a, a device that goes in there and acts as a ball cock. Shall I show you that? Right. Shall I show you my ball cock? Cock. So it's got a little float thing that screws into the tank. You put your hose on there, and when it, it's full with water, that closes that little valve in there and shuts off the water to the aqua roll. So when do we use that then with the Starfire? Last time we used that was with the Starfire. Yeah. And it actually plugs in there. So that actually plugs in there. So you take that off and you replace it with that, and that's permanently connected then. So you've got water coming in and being stopped when it gets to about half oh, full. Oh, oh, right. And you can then can use that to fill up when you need to. Right. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's so long since we used that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So that's my ball cock. Okay. Happy with my ball cock. Can I say ball cock again? No. Yeah. Please don't. Yeah. yeah, so that's still filling up. So obviously when it gets close to 100 we'll stop that. But you can leave that connected but it won't automatically fill the tank you do have to tell it to fill the tank when you need to sounds like it's running now it's i think it's run out noise. now yeah to stop it filling you just press the return button there and it stops filling so that'll do for now we're not going very far we'll have showers in the morning that should be enough yeah so i've got a temporary solution to the waste pipe issue that allows me to use a waste master quite difficult to show you this collapse do a waste pipe adapter thing that you can cut to size and you can connect the collapse waste pipes down to an aqua roll so I can now use an aqua roll under the van here uh, without trying to have to maneuver to a waste point so like I say it's temporary solution but the idea really, the best idea would be to have a, a waste pipe permanently fitted here that would come out about here. That would be good. Yes, so there it is. And that does mean that I can leave this waste pipe permanently open and any waste should drain into the aqua roll then. <laughs>